Hi, this is Elena Jacob, and today we've got a very special guest with us. Sharon Nelson from WhereLifeWorks.com is here to tell us all about life coaches and what it is they do. Sharon, it's great to have you here today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so, like I said, we all kind of hear about life coaches, but we don't really know, unless we've worked with them, what it is a life coach does or even how they came to be a life coach. So let's start with that. How did you get into it? Well, I'm really excited that I am one. This was something <laughs> that I hadn't planned. So to be able to find my sandbox after so many years is, is just so thrilling for me. And so it has to do with where I am in my life. Mm -hmm. um, about eight years ago, I had a major life event. I ended a 27-year marriage, and I lost all my footing. I didn't, I, everything went from underneath my feet. So I started looking for tools on how to cope and how to function again. And it brought me to uh, what's called an awareness practice. Mm -hmm. and taking responsibility for myself and with what happened and really looking at, at my life. And through that, I um, came up some, with great teachers and authors that brought me into this path more and more. And through that process, then I, um, I thought, wow, I go, this is something that I could bring to others and have a, a calling for it. Uh, I served through this and developed a coaching practice around helping others guide themselves to uh, a more um, uh, satisfying life. That's wonderful. It's uh, quite the journey you went on personally to get to where you are today. So on that journey, I'm sure you had a lot of transformations, I'm sure you still do. What has been the one that really stood out to you about how you changed yourself? Yeah. It's just allowing things to be the way they are, mm -hmm. not have pushing, not mm -hmm controlling, but having things as they happen be okay with what they are. So accepting them and then having more of the energy of, of flow, which uh, to, for me was like I never lived like that before. <laughs> so to have that in my life just creates a, a calm and a balance mm -hmm. and also that the power and, and being able to take whatever life throws at you from a place that's much more healthy and for my well-being, not only for myself, but everybody around me as well. That's great. That's really wonderful. So in your coaching and, and with your clients, what is it that through all your experiences, your personal growth and your, your personal journey has made your coaching unique and just yours? Well, through this process, I've studied many different uh, authors and experts mm -hmm. on new thought and how the brain works and you know, controlling and mastering your thoughts. And I came upon one called the Enneagram that um, what this stands for is that Ennea is nine in Greek and gram is just an image. So it depicts nine different personality structures or nine different views on the world that everybody has one of these. And it shows what um, your belief systems are, your conditioning, and more than anything, your blind spots. And so this tool is what I use in my coaching to lay the foundation of just saying, okay, you're stuck on something, this is why you're stuck on it, and then be able to put in other tools to move past those things. That sounds like a very profound tool that you're using with your clients. Yeah, it's, it's gaining mainstream more and more, and it's been around for 4,000 years, and <laughs> oh. it's now coming into its fruition on this type of work where people want to you know, live a better, more satisfying, fulfilling life. And everybody wants that ultimately, so it's, it's great that you're spreading that to the world. So in your work, when you're working with your clients and you're, you're watching these transformations happen, has there been one that's really stood out to you, that's really just floored you to witness? Yeah, there are. There's, there's one in particular. It has to do with the Enneatype Type 2, which is a giver, and they tend to give to get back. Mm -hmm. So they do everything for everybody and kind of kind of ignore their own needs. And when they figure out that that's what's happening, they can now make choices on choosing the things that bring them joy, that they love to do. And that transforms their entire way that they look at things. And now what caused suffering before, because they weren't always acknowledged or appreciated for what they did, now they, they realize that when they make those choices that are based on their own heart, that that comes naturally and, and they just shine from that point on, and that brings a lot of joy. That sounds like the most rewarding work you could do. It has been, <laughs> and I want to continue this. 
for as long as I can. That's great. I, I love to hear that. I love seeing people so passionate about what they do. What other tools do you use? I mean, the Enneagram sounds so powerful, but I'm sure that's not the only thing you have in your arsenal. Yeah, the big one is to start an observance practice. You know, mm -hmm. observe your own thoughts and actions and the things that are causing frustration. You know, those are the ones that are your blind spots, pretty much. So that's the first thing, is start to be aware of what you're thinking, acting, and doing. And the other is to develop some type of a, a meditation practice where you can learn to quiet your mind. So that it's not always just running and spinning. Mm -hmm. And there's many different ways that you can bring that practice in as well. That's great, that's great. Before we wrap it up, uh, do you have any tips about how to bring that, that presence of mind and that awareness to our viewers and to anyone else who's curious about your work? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's important to get um, somebody that supports you in the work that you're doing, mm -hmm. not necessarily your best friend, because <laughs> your best friend is just going to go along with with whatever you're doing, but somebody that acts like a mirror that can actually help you see what you don't see until you gain those tools on your own. And that would be like a life coach. Mm -hmm. There are so many out there now and there's so many good ones. And they are purposely there to help you guide you through your own self-discovery process. And um, it's come so far these days, I would, that would be somebody that I would recommend. Somebody look into. Okay. That's a big step to take in one's life to, to get that life coach and, and start working towards this more satisfying, more fulfilling life. Yes. Well, it must be a lot of fun for you to get to take part in that. It is. <laughs> it's very much so. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Sharon, for taking the time to explain to us what a life coach does and, and how your work is transforming lives and the tools you use. If you would like to learn more about Sharon and what she does, you can visit her online at where-lifeworks.com. You can also find her on Facebook under the same name and on Twitter at Where Life Works. Sharon, thank you again for joining us. And thank you for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.